just relax. What else? Um, put your best in. Have a really good relationship with your teachers. Having a good relationship with your teachers really benefits you in other ways. It kind of makes them a little bit more understanding if you get an assignment in a bit late or you come a little bit late to class. It just it makes things a lot easier because you're not always going to get all of your assignments done on time and sometimes you may run into something that makes you late before class. Whether I need advice or if I need help in school or on the court or whatever you're doing, there's always someone here that wants to help you be successful. Um, and that kind of has made it like a second home for me, just that I have people looking out for me. Uh, there's also a ton of different clubs you can join. Uh, personally, I'm a little bit biased, but the debate team is a really awesome club you can join. Uh, a lot of really cool stuff in there. Um, yeah, there's, there's stuff like Student Senate, if you want to do that, you can run uh, to get elected for that. Uh, freshman Class Council. Okay, attendance is really important because it's like 50% of school is just being there, I think. So, so you have to really stay focused and set your priorities straight because if you have bad attendance in school, it's probably going to follow you throughout your life. Well, to be successful in class, you need to go to class, and I can tell you that if you're in class, staying up on your work, you feel better about yourself, and you have way more free time, and it's not anything looming over you, so go to class. Don't get behind, because like as soon as you do, it's kind of tricky. It's very tricky to get back up. It's like asking students and stuff, like, or classmates after you missed class, like, oh, hey, what did we do today? Like, they're not going to be able to describe accurately about what you missed. And in order to learn, you need the different components, like hearing it in class, studying it yourself, and then kind of the testing practice. So you'll be missing out on those vital components. Um, one thing I like about the high school is just the atmosphere. I like The teachers here are so nice, and they're so supportive. And especially this year with my teachers, I've had a bit of a family problems throughout the year and they've been really supportive on it and understanding with things. Uh, I like the atmosphere of the students. All the students here are really sweet and have really good personalities. People are so easy to become friends with. And Go with the flow and just try to stay in like, your own lane. So like, just, just don't make it more complicated than what it is. Definitely do sports. Sports is the ma most major thing to make friends and just get out there and have fun. And I'd really suggest going to the Career Tech Center because they really helped me with my career focus and figure out what I want to do. And it's a great opportunity that our school offers. Just my biggest thing is like time management. I guess that can go with social life too, like planning when you're going to do your homework, getting it done, studying so that you have time to hang out with your friends. Going to high school with some motivation to do well in high school. The rest will kind of play itself out and you'll grow throughout, but you just have to have some motivation to come to high school and learn and involve yourself, engage yourself. Get as involved as you can um, and not miss out your first couple years. Because I didn't do anything my first few years and I regret that. Always work hard, set goals, accomplish them, you'll succeed. 22, correct. <laughs>